This over here is the Swedish Rhapsody. Many people have known this for a German number station and a number station that is actually from Poland. Um, G02 was first ran by the Polish State Security, SB, then the Officer for State Protection, UOP, and last heard on April 9th of 1998. It was using a female automated voice, often mistaken for a child's voice. Its emission mode was AM-DSB. Now, it was using the first bar for the intro as of from a music box. And then it would be followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six seven eight nine zero altogether repeated for five minutes. The full transmission with the three messages always took roughly thirty eight minutes, and those with one message around seventeen minutes and ten seconds. Prior to a start with a one thousand kilohertz test tone, testing for zero point five seven zero point five seconds, then it would be emitted every three seconds. The transmissions were broadcasted on up to three frequencies in parallel. The while the pieces of the music, frequently described as the Swedish Rhapsody No. 1, composed by Hugo Alfven, completed in the, 19, in the 1900s, disclassified documents revealed the title of the piece of music actually as Luxembourg Polka, con composed by Emily Reisdorf, completed in the 1950s. However, the portion used by G02 are identical with both work in both works. I will now play you a clip of the Swedish Rhapsody um, with the voice. G02 was first reported in the early 1960s, but it's possible that it's been transmitting even since the 1950s. G02 was noted for a very professional operation with transmissions starting on time and with every few mistakes observed. Prior to the 1980, in 1988, only three message formats were being noted. However, in the 1988, some of the schedules started sending only one message and started including counting during the intro. G02 had a very complex schedule. The schedules that only took pictures only took place on selected weeks. The counting of the week started on the first Saturday of the month. The fifth week extended into the first week of the next month. One message would be pre uh, repeated across many time slots, even up to 15 times in a single month. The following of G02's schedule that was known in 1966. On April 1st, 1998, the schedules above were fully replaced, leaving only the few transmissions, mostly the Europeans' office hours. The schedules listed below are G02's intro format, 
all were in USB mode and contained three messages. The same three messages would have been repeated throughout the entire week. The counting of the weeks still started on the first Saturdays of the month. Note that time starts is not rigid and could start as early as 47. All frequencies kilohertz. However, G02 is now shut down on 20th of April 1998 when E23 took over its schedule. What a very sad story. Oh. 